Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn the topic non-disjunction of chromosomes. But before that, I would like to thank all of you for making this channel reach the milestone of 150 subscribers. Thank you for all the support and I hope I'll keep receiving the same in future too. So now let's get into the topic. In the previous video, I have explained the topic meiosis. I would suggest you to watch it first and then continue further in this video. You can find the link in the description below. So non-disjunction of chromosome is the failure of separation of homologous chromosomes or sister chromatid during different stages of meiosis, that is either meiosis 1 or meiosis 2. As meiosis is the process responsible for formation of gametes, non-disjunction of chromosome can lead to formation of abnormal gametes having abnormal number of chromosomes. These abnormal gametes may arise due to the following reasons. The first is the failure of separation of homologous chromosomes during anaphase 1 of meiosis 1. As a result, out of 4 gametes formed, 2 gametes have a chromosome missing and are represented by n-1, while the other 2 gametes have an additional copy of a chromosome and are represented by n-1. However, in the second case, meiosis 1 occurs normally but the centromere fails to split during the anaphase 2 event of meiosis 2. As a result, out of 4 gametes, 2 gametes are normal while 1 gamete has 1 less chromosome while other has 1 extra chromosome. Even though both cases represent non-disjunction of chromosome, but meiosis 1 is more susceptible than meiosis 2 to non-disjunction and is commonly observed in females above the age of 40 years. The reason for this is that the oocytes of older women remains arrested in meiosis 1 for a very long period of time. And the meiotic spindles of older oocytes are less able to hold the bivalence together. When these abnormal gametes are involved in fertilization, it leads to the formation of zygotes having abnormal number of chromosomes. In most of the cases, the abnormal zygote develops into abnormal embryo, which dies during embryonic or fetal development. As presence of extra chromosome or absence of normal number of chromosomes are usually lethal. In some cases though, the zygote develops into an infant having abnormal number of chromosomes. This condition is called aneuploidy. Now depending on the type of gametes involved in fertilization, aneuploidy can be divided into two main types. The first is monosomy, which represents zygote having one less chromosome than the normal number and is a result of fusion of a normal gamete with an abnormal gamete having one less chromosome. The monosomic condition represents the presence of only a single copy of a particular chromosome in a diploid cell. While the second type is called trisomy, which represents zygote having three copies of a particular chromosome in a diploid cell. This usually occurs due to the fusion of a normal gamete with a gamete having an extra chromosome. So that's all for this video. I hope I was able to make you understand this topic and if I did, please leave a like to let me know.